the passenger train pulled into the station one night. The minister stood upon the platform. As he stepped into one of the cars, he noticed a young man sitting beside the window. The young man was gazing out the window in very deep concentration. The minister went over and sat down beside him and in a few minutes the train began to roll along. He told of the revival that he had just finished, been told of where he was headed. Then he turned to the young man and he said, Son, as I entered this car, I noticed you looked troubled about something. And like I told you, I'm a preacher. Maybe we can talk about it. Maybe we can pray and some, work something out. The young man turned to him and he said, Sir, I'm on my way home today. But you see, I haven't been home in eight long years. The young man said, when I was 15 years old, I became so mean at home. He said, I drank. I smoke drugs, wild parties, I've done it all. He said, sir, my parents were Christians. They tried to teach me right, but I rebelled against everything they stood for. He said, my kind of life brought many violent arguments in our home, and one day at the height of one of these arguments, I took my fist, then I knocked my daddy to the ground. The next morning, dad come to my room and he said, son, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave if you intend to keep on this way. You see, boy, your mama's sick. She's not well and she can't take too much of this. The young man said to the preacher, I walked out that day, and I haven't been home for eight long years. The preacher turned to the young man and he said, Son, how do you know they'll welcome you? The young man said, Sir, about two weeks ago, I was in a distant town, and there was a tent up down at the fairground and I just went in out of curiosity and it was a revival. He said, I sat on the back row and the preacher that night spoke on the prodigal son. He said, sir, I didn't wait till they gave an invitation that night. I ran to that altar because I knew if I should die, I was going to hell. He said, sir, that night I gave my life to Jesus, and he gave me a new life. Then I'm on my way home today. The preacher looked at him, and he said, son, again, I ask you, how do you know they'll take you back? How do you know you'll be welcome? He said, I wrote my daddy a letter. And I said, daddy, I'm a Christian now and I want to come home and make up to you and Mama for the way I've lived. Then, Daddy, if you can forgive me, I want you to hang a big white rag in the top of that apple tree that stands between our house and these railroad tracks. Then one day soon I'm going to go by on one of them trains, and if I see the signal, I'll know to get off at the next station. I'll know you forgive me. But he said, Dad, if you can't forgive me, I'll go on, then I'll do the best I can. I don't deserve your forgiveness. As the preacher and the young man continued talking, the sun came up. The brightness of the morning, the birds singing, In a few minutes, the young man said, Sir, he said, Preacher, I can't bear to look. 
because I just know the signal won't be there. And I want to go home so bad. Would you look for me? The preacher got up and began to wipe the dust from the windows. Began to look out. Then a few moments, a big old smile come on his face, and he said, son, you got nothing to worry about. Every branch on that tree's got a white rag tied to it. He said, son, get up here quick and look. There's your mom and dad out there waving a white bed sheet just as hard as they can. The train went on to the next station, and the young man and the preacher stepped off, and in a few moments, an old beat-up farm truck come bouncing down the road. Mom and Dad jumped out and ran to meet their boy with open arms, arms of love, arms of forgiveness. The preacher stood there a moment with tears in his eyes. He thought how much this was like God. God allowed a signal to be hung up for you and for me. The signal was no white rag, but it was his only son, Jesus Christ. The tree was the old rugged cross. Have you accepted that signal today? He's there, he's willing. You can come home today.